Thank you so much for this honor. It feels surreal being up front in some ways behind the scenes, as everybody said. So thank you. Tonight, we are here not to honor any one of us, but to honor Israel and to learn more about the important work that Stand With Us does. This is and always has been a partnership between Roz, I can't see her, where is she? Roz and her wonderful organization in Los Angeles and with Shachar and Avi and the outstanding Stand With Us team here in New York. Thank you for the collaborative and special relationship we have. Your hard work and dedication don't go unnoticed. To Congresswoman Meng and to Ron and Jenna, congratulations and thank you. And congratulations to Smatis Yahoo for his leadership. More to follow shortly. To Eric, my co-chair and co-honoree, it's always a pleasure to work alongside you and to learn from you. We've often remarked how our skill sets complement one another, and you are truly deserving of the accolades showered upon you tonight. If you ever read his article in Jerusalem Post, he's fabulous. He's, he's, he's amazing. Mazal Tov Eric. I wouldn't change my children for the world, but I wish I could change this world for my children. I read on a friend's Facebook post just recently. What a powerful statement. Can we really believe that beyond a wishful hope, we truly are capable of making a change in this world for our children? Is it conceivable to change the worldview of Israel for future generations? I believe we can, and this is how. Stand With Us is at the forefront of effecting that change. Its goal is high, to proclaim on every platform the legitimacy of the land of Israel, the state of Israel, and the people of Israel. Stand With Us has set forth to inform and educate our high school and college students, as you've seen here tonight, by helping them explain Israel's true narrative to counter the web of vitriolic falsehoods that permeate deeper and wider into our college campuses. Stand With Us is a leader in the fight against the BDS movement, as you've heard, and Eric expanded upon as well. They that seek to delegitimize Israel and undermine its very existence. These misrepresentations of Israel and often outright lies need to be combated and defended on a daily basis. Stand With Us today is our voice in a hostile world and is there wherever and whenever it can be. Last Friday evening, members of my synagogue Temple Israel of the City of New York were privileged to meet and to hear Kay Wilson retell her horrific ordeal at the hands of Hamas terrorists and watch as her friend was hacked to death in front of her while they hiked in the Israel National Forest. Surviving 13 stab wounds and a near-death experience, Kay's story is one of courage, fear, reconciliation, and hope all rolled into one. Stand With Us brought Kay's story just one of many, all over Israel and now the United States, and helped us understand the realities that Israel faces daily. These realities must be shared and explained. Going viral on the internet last week in the wake of the Paris attacks was a picture that stated, Paris, 1113, New York, 911, Israel, 247. This is Israel's reality. <clears throat> Yet our story of Israel is much deeper than what's unfolding today. Da me'ayin bata, know where we came from, our sages tell us, and from there we can learn where to go. Knowing the true history of our ancestors is our true weapon of legitimacy. In a way, it's also our declaration of gratitude to our parents, and there's before them that we are here today. Show me your roots, and I will tell you your future. I stand here today speaking about the land of Israel and the love of it, which I learned and gained from my parents. They are my roots, and they are here in the room tonight from London. <clears throat> Thank you both for everything you do, and I continue to do and have done to keep the flame lit, burning in our family. Our narrative is that our history neither began in Oslo nor in 1967. It didn't begin in 1948 or with the vision of Herzl. We are the children and descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. <clears throat> King David ruled us, Deborah judged us, and the Maccabees saved us. We have been the owners and dwellers of the land of Israel for over 3,000 years. 
Just as you cannot be considered an occupier in your own home, so too we, the Jewish people, cannot be an occupier in our own land. Saying this out loud is our pseudo sword of truth and our proclamation to the world. Our home is not only our physical boundaries, but the source of our inspiration that has in turn become a light unto the nations. Which brings me to my next point. Israel's narrative is that never in history has there been a more sincere and ethical nation. From the time we were given the Torah, its laws of conduct and morality have been the candle at our feet. Not only being considerate to those less fortunate, but even in the face of our enemies, we are commanded to act in a humane manner. Israel is the only true democracy in the Middle East, surrounded by the most hostile environment and still shines in nearly every aspect. <clears throat> In conclusion, yes, we have the history of the land. Yes, we have the love our parents instilled in us for the state of Israel. And yes, we have the high moral ground of our existence as the people of Israel. And today, we also have stand with us to lead the struggle to change the world for our children. Odla Adva Tikvatenu, our hope is not let yost, lost. Simple words from Israel's national anthem. Stand With Us gives hope that we will and can overcome these difficulties for a better future. Ladies and gentlemen, by supporting this event tonight and by your continued support of the State of Israel, we too are agents of change. But it cannot and must not end this evening. We need to leave here determined to take action, to be more educated, to learn and to share Israel's true narrative, and to support her however, however and wherever we can. There's an